Retail Archaeology presents a very dead mall Christmas. Starring Metro Center Mall, Superstition Springs Center, and Paradise Valley Mall. Hello everyone and welcome to a special Christmas episode of Retail Archaeology. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the Christmas decorations at three different malls and see if they look like they're doing any better during this holiday shopping season. First, we'll take a look at Paradise Valley Mall in Phoenix, Arizona. Paradise Valley Mall opened in 1978 and is owned by Mace Rich. This is a mall that I've covered quite a bit throughout the years on the channel. And when I first started covering it, it wasn't quite a dead mall, but it was getting there and over the years, it has become officially a dead mall. We're walking up to the area where they're doing pictures with Santa Claus, and I really like how they've incorporated the Christmas tree into the architecture of the skylight. That's pretty neat. This is one of the smallest uh, Santa Claus photo op areas I've ever seen, though. Not surprisingly, there's not much of a line either. I don't think that's just because the mall is dead. I'm sure it has something to do with the uh, pandemic situation as well. The last time I was at this mall, it was really dead, so I was curious to see how it looked during uh, Christmas shopping season. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like this place is doing any better. Also, unfortunately, it looks like this fountain is officially permanently out of commission. They're just using it to hold some poinsettia plants now. That fountain was working when I first started covering this mall. Looks like they've used a lot of poinsettias here. They've run them all the way up this walkway out of the food court as well. Surprisingly, the movie theater is back open. This was closed the last time I was here, and I didn't think it was ever going to reopen. The only thing more eerie than walking around a dead mall is walking around one that's decorated for Christmas. It's also interesting how every mall seems to do their Christmas decorations a little bit differently. And I think for a 42-year-old mall that's on its last leg, they did a pretty good job here. There's also been some updated information that's come out about this mall recently. Dillard's announced that they plan to close their location here after the first of the year. And also the Chompy's restaurant, which I absolutely love, announced that they are planning on moving out of their location to a bigger standalone location in April. Chompy's leaving is really unfortunate for this mall. That restaurant is fantastic and it's probably one of the main things that still draw people into the mall. We're walking into the uh, Sears wing of the mall now, and this is by far the uh, quietest and most dead wing of this whole mall. The Sears closed back in 2018, I believe. I'm really surprised the Sears signage is still up. They usually seem to remove that pretty quickly after they close a location. Every Christmas season, I always wonder if that's going to be the last Christmas season for Sears and Kmart. And it always seems like it is, but somehow they managed to hang on for one more year. Speaking of last Christmases, this may be the last Christmas for Paradise Valley Mall as well. Mace Rich just recently submitted preliminary redevelopment plans to the city for approval. Things seem to have gotten pretty dire at this mall, so I don't know that it makes sense to keep it open for another year. They may just close it down and, and that'll be the end of it until the redevelopment is completed, which I'm sure will completely change the way this place looks. I've seen some of the sketches and renderings and I don't think there's going to be much of the original mall left. So 
So that's kind of sad to think. I, I may be filming this on what is this mall's, you know, last Christmas season. Let's uh, go ahead and head out of this mall and go check out our next one. And our next mall is Metro Center Mall in Phoenix, Arizona. Now obviously this mall is not decorated for Christmas because it's permanently closed. This is what it looked like last Christmas though. They did actually decorate it and this was Metro Center Mall's last Christmas. Now keep a close eye on some of the things that you see in this footage. For example, those penguins and the polar bears and things like that because you will see them pop up again in the video shortly. When I was filming this footage last year, I kind of knew in my gut that that was going to be the last Christmas for this mall. But I was still kind of surprised when it closed so abruptly at the end of June this year. One of the biggest clues was that they did not have a mall Santa last year. They had this whole area set up with the Christmas tree and everything. And they even had Santa's big chair out, but there was no mall Santa. Basically, it was a photo opportunity where you could have your picture taken with the tree. You can see the uh, big red chair down there. And Mark was actually smart enough to get his picture taken in the chair as a memento. I kind of wish I had. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see what Metro Center Mall looks like this year for Christmas. Now if you weren't aware, they just recently reopened the mall for a fixture auction preview and I did a video on that last week. But this is some additional footage that I filmed while I was there. Part of the auction was all of the Christmas decorations, such as the penguins that we saw earlier in the video. And there's the polar bears there. What was surprising is there were a lot of Christmas decorations that I had never seen at this mall before. It seems like a lot of these are older decorations that they stopped using over the years. They had several trees for sale as well. This is a good example of this Babes in Toyland. I don't ever remember seeing that big puzzle anywhere in the mall during the last couple of Christmases. And here's the uh, Santa Claus chair. It looks like they were requiring you to spend at least $10 in the mall before you could get in line to take a picture with Santa Claus. So, a lemonade and a pretzel at Wetzel's, basically. Here's another decoration we saw in the uh, previous footage from last year. This, uh, I was going to say radio flyer, it's a red flyer wagon. They had some racks of Christmas lights too, and I wonder if those last longer than the cheap pieces of crap that you can buy at the hardware store for your house. It seems like I have to replace my lights every other year. And this looks like it's one of the giant wreaths that they had hanging in front of the department stores. It's interesting to see it on the ground like this. You can actually tell how big it is. It's kind of hard to tell when they're hanging from way up in the ceiling. I'm pretty sure these playing card decorations are older as well. I don't ever remember seeing these. But it's interesting that they would, you know, store old Christmas decorations instead of getting rid of them. It makes you wonder what other weird old things malls might have in storage. Anybody need some garland? It looks like they've got a little bit. Okay, the big eight ball is kind of cool. By the way, if you haven't checked out last week's video, I would highly recommend it if you're interested in seeing Metro Center Mall one last time. Now let's take a look at Superstition Spring Center in Mesa, Arizona. This is one of my all-time favorite malls because this is one that I grew up really close to. I really like the way they hang the Christmas lights down off of this awning, but it's kind of boring to look at it during the day. You can't see the lights, so let's take a look at it at night. This mall opened in 1990 and is currently owned by Mace Rich. Of the three malls in this video, this one has the most life still left in it. I mean, obviously Metro Center Mall is permanently closed and Paradise Valley Mall is a dead mall, 
but I don't know that I would call this a dead mall just yet. It kind of teeters that way, but it's very strange. You can visit this mall on a Saturday afternoon and it will look like a dead mall, but then you can visit it the very next Saturday at the same time and it'll be kind of busy. This footage was filmed on a Friday night and then a Saturday afternoon. And this mall still has enough life in it that they have the uh, Christmas angel trees down there. Here's what it looked like Saturday afternoon and as you can see there are some shoppers down there. It's not busy but it's not dead either. But then in the evening things really quiet down. Right here in front of the uh, JC is where they have the Santa Claus photo area set up. And this one is actually a really good size. This is one of the biggest Santa's Village things that I've seen in any of the malls in the Phoenix area. As you can see though, there is no line for pictures with Santa. They've got a, a nice big tree here in the back of Santa Claus's village. I think of the three of Paradise Valley Mall, Metro Center Mall's Christmas display last year, and then this one here at Superstition Springs Center. This one is definitely my favorite. It's just weird to not see any kids or anybody in line though. Even though at this point in the day, the mall was kind of lively, the Santa's village looking like this was throwing off very strong dead mall vibes. You can take a look from the second floor as well, so you can see just how big that tree is. They have the lights choreographed with the music, but unfortunately I can't play the music due to copyright issues. But that was just another nice little touch. And here's what the tree looks like at night. You can see the lights a little bit better because there's not sun coming down through the skylight. But again, there's no line and you can see Santa Claus sitting down there. Besides the big tree in the mall, they've also got a large tree outside in the courtyard as well. It looks much better at night when you can see the lights and the big star at the top though. I think big fake trees like this look much better at night too because it's a lot less obvious that they're artificial. Like a lot of malls, this one also has a closed Sears and it's sad to see it like this with the Christmas decorations in front of it because I used to do some Christmas shopping at this Sears location. All in all though, I'd say this mall looks like it's doing a lot better during this Christmas season than I thought it would be. This doesn't hold a candle to how busy it would have been 10 or 15 years ago though. As we get to the end of this video, I want to give a big thank you to my good buddy John Riggs for helping me with the voiceover in the intro of this video. He's a radio DJ in Yakima, Washington, and he also has an amazing retro gaming YouTube channel that I'll leave a link to down in the description below. Also, I just want to tell everybody Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday season with everything that's going on in the world right now. And also, I just wanted to let you all know that 
I will be taking the last two weeks of the year off, but Resale Archaeology will return on January 8th. So until then, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and as always, thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this year's Retail Archaeology Christmas Special. Don't forget to follow at the social media links down there, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button!